Ethernet continues to evolve. If you look at uh, the last 35 years the Ethernet's been around, we've seen a number of networking technologies come and go, like ATM, FDDI, Token Ring, for example. Ethernet's really proven to be quite resilient, and what we've seen in, in recent years is Ethernet being used in applications outside of the traditional enterprise, you know, networking PC type environment. Uh, in particular, uh, data center computing, network areas, uh, network storage, and uh, long haul telecommunications is starting to adopt Ethernet. And uh, that drives new requirements for faster speeds, more features, and uh, in particular, things beyond the 10 gigabit Ethernet we're starting to see in the market today. Well, in response to the uh, new applications that are being used with Ethernet, uh, we are seeing a need for uh, speeds beyond 10 gigabit Ethernet. In particular, 40 gigabit Ethernet is being defined currently by the IEEE for storage area networking and data center computing networks. Uh, while 100 gigabit Ethernet is really being driven for aggregation of the enterprise networks as well as long haul telecommunications applications. Well, when you start to consider uh, career opportunities around networking, uh, Ethernet uh, has continued to I have a lot of innovation around it, and there's a lot of new business opportunities and a lot of company investment in new standards and, and products around that, and a lot of innovation on top of Ethernet. Uh, I believe that there's a number of career opportunities for individuals coming out of school or looking to uh, expand their experience in Ethernet and uh, some of the new applications for higher speed Ethernet, like telecommunications and data center networking. One of the things that's really surprised me as we've started to look at 40 gig and 100 gig definition in the IEEE is the a number of different companies and people that have really been involved. Uh, everyone from silicon vendors to system vendors, end customers, telecommunications end customers, data center end customers, uh, a whole ecosystem of, of vendors and customers have really come together to help define the future of Ethernet. And it's really exciting and, and quite surprising.